Yo, it's honestly a beautiful morning. I am having such a splendid, wonderful, fabulous time making this video. Got some herbal tea with no caffeine in it. I'm trying to cut down a little bit. We got the birds chirping in the back. It's beautiful weather. Blue skies, not a single cloud. Okay, I'm, I have to get started in the video, honestly. That was way too much. But anyways, um, <laughs> one thing that I realized when I started to gain a lot more subscribers on YouTube was that people notice you in real life. People uh, that you've never seen before people you've never heard of before, ever, in your life, what, no matter what city you're in, no matter what state you're in, no matter what country you're in. Bro, I was in, I swear to God, I was in a random island in Mexico a few months back. Some random ass island, right? I took a boat ticket to this island. I'm, I'm a, a, like literally off the grid. And the island is called Island Mujeres, right? And I swear to God, I was sitting down in an alley with my cousins, this random ass island across the fucking globe. And some kid, like 17, 18, walks by me, and he's like, Lucid? I looked at him, I was like, what the f My boy, I was like, what are, you, what are you doing here? He was like, what are you doing here? I was like, I, I'm not even sure, bro. He was like, god damn, bro, I never thought I'd see you in Mexico, my boy. Literally, a random island in Mexico. My cousins, when they saw that, somebody noticed me in real life, they were like, let's fucking go, baby, yeah! They started screaming, they started clapping and stuff. They were so excited to see that somebody recognized me in a random island across the world in this weird-ass little alley, a tight, narrow-spaced alley. It looks like a shady place to be, right? And I get noticed. So I was like, bro, what's happening, man? What's... So I dead him up and everything, and then he was like, bro, check it out. And he like shows me his arm, right? This guy has some like saran wrap plastic looking thing around his arm and a big ass tattoo that says his like dad's name on his arm. I was like, bro, you just got fucking tatted? He was like, bro, I swear to God, I literally just got tatted. I was like, does your dad know? He was like, nice, he's, but he's literally about to beat my ass right now when I get home and I started fucking crying. <laughs> this guy got his dad's name tatted on his arm. His dad doesn't even know. <laughs> bro, I was like, what the f is happening? So I dabbed him up, it was, it was a pleasure to meet him and I was genuinely happy the entire day that a, a fan recognized me. Not, not, not a fan, that's, that's a very demeaning, condescending word. A supporter, a homie, a brother recognized me. And I was just genuinely happy the whole day, like, especially in that part of the world. I'll show on Google Earth if I have any like images of where I was. It was like, you don't expect to see nobody in there. Nobody, especially from like the US or from like anyone that even like speaks a lick of English in there. Like we were far, my boy. So he recognized me and it was dope. But then there's also the like negative side to it where like it's not always positive interaction. It's not always like, oh, that's great. I'm so fucking happy to see you. The same way that you're happy to see me. Um, when I was at like 120K subscribers, I was at a, a, I think it was like a bubble tea place, like an hour away. Me and my boy went, just going, just, just hanging out and stuff. No sus at all. And we get our tea and we're sitting down. And as we sit down, we see a guy and a girl walk into the shop that we were sitting down and drinking our tea in. And she, the guy walks in, doesn't even like pay us any mind, keeps on walking. The girl that was walking in behind him, which could have been his sister or his girlfriend, or I don't even know what the hell it was. But she walks in behind him and then she looks at me and then looks away. And then she like keeps on walking and then like, as she gets like further from me, she like looks back at me for like three seconds. It was really awkward, it was really awkward. She was like staring at me like this and like looks away. And the whole time that she was there, she was continually like looking at me. And that is like, it wasn't like she was checking me out. It was more of like, I know that guy, but I don't know that guy, kind of looking, right? So I felt a little bit awkward. Um, I, at this time, like 100K subs, I wasn't getting recognized too often at all. Uh, so I tapped my boy, I was like, yo, what the fuck's this girl looking at my boy? I said it in like Arabic, so like she, like no one even hears me. And he was like, he looks, he's like, does she like you? And I was like, I was like, no, nah, it doesn't seem like it. She, she gave me a weird look, bro. And the whole time she just kept on looking at me. And then as she left, she left the, the, the place that we were in. She looks at me through the window and she just keeps on looking at me as she's like walking away. It was so weird. I felt really, really uncomfortable. Like, look, if you know me, if you've seen me before, if you watch me in a video or something, yo, say hi, wave at me, say, hey, what's up? And I'll, I'll know like, that's where you know me from. It's cool. Uh, but when you just look at me, I can't tell if you want to scrap or if, if you're a supporter, like it's, it's, the line between both of those is very, very blurred. So I can't even tell. The first time that I've ever gotten recognized in my life, uh, I was actually driving. I was driving, I had my windows like halfway down. And I, a long time ago, I made a video on YouTube, which is now privated. 
titled, I woke up at 5 a.m. for a week. And every day I'd wake up at five in the morning, eye bags worse than they are right now, but it's, it's like, it's 9 a.m. right now. And my eye bags were, were horrible, right? And I, uh, in that video, it was like five, six, seven days of me waking up at 5 a.m. every day working out and like, getting my grind on. And when that video dropped, like a week after, some guy pulls up next to me on the light and he was like, hey, bro, why aren't you waking up at 5 a.m. last night? I looked at him and I was like, oh shit, you watched my video, bro? That's what's up, man, boy, let's fucking go. He was like, hell yeah, Lucid, take care, bro. And then he just like sped off. And I, I was like, damn, that was a pretty creative way to tell me that you know me. Um, like, cause he, he mentioned a video that I made, which was dope. And, I, and nobody in my city used to watch my videos at the time. I was still really, really small on YouTube. Even during school, um, when I was at like, I was at like 30, 40K subs, right? No, no, in school, I think I was even lower. I think I would have been like 10 or 15K subs. And I didn't tell anybody about my channel. Look, I have one rule when it comes to YouTube. Don't tell anybody that you do YouTube. That's it. That's how you become successful on YouTube. Just don't tell anyone. And that's all you got to do. And you will dub it out. You'll become a big time, famous, multi-millionaire YouTuber. Not literally, but that's like the first step to it. So me not telling anybody, I was making NoFap videos. They're very awkward videos to make because it's the truth. Everyone has to hear them, but no one wants to talk about it. Especially, it's not something that you would talk about on the dinner table, right? Because it's very personal, but people need to hear this stuff. No, not enough people are talking about NoFap. So I started making videos on NoFap. Very, very passionate about it, putting everything that I have into it. And some random kid in school. Uh, I mean, this kid, we had a little bit of beef back in the football team. Like, he wasn't really my boy. He was what you would consider like a jock and shit. Like, he was, he was, he was fucking huge and shit. Like, he would probably knock my ass out. But um, after like years of not talking to him, or just being like like very, very distant from this person. Uh, I'm, I'm walking in the hallway, he was like, yo, Alex. I said, uh, yo, what's up, bro? He was like, yo, do you, do you actually not jack off? And I was like, what? He was like, bro, I saw your videos. Do you, do you really not masturbate? I, I said, yeah, bro. He was like, Good shit, bro. I said, thanks. Thanks, baby. And I just walked away. And that's it. That's the last time I talked to that dude. It, it, was, it, it wasn't really weird. It was just like a really fucking funny interaction. A guy I haven't talked to in years asked me if I jack off. I said no. He dabbed me up and he just walked away. He did dead ass. So there's a lot of positives. There's a lot of negatives to it. Um, like last night, actually, I was driving back home. And some people recognized me. I'm pretty sure as I was driving. And they all looked at me like in the car. And they, they were just being rowdy about it. Like they were, uh, they, they were like screaming shit at me to get my attention. And they were, like, they were just like screaming shit, but like in more of like a negative fashion. Like, a, like I'm better than you, condescending tone, right? Like it was, it was weird. It was like, do you fuck with me or do you, do you not? Like I didn't get a, a good vibe from these guys at all. Uh, I had to raise up my windows and just look straight. Stuff like that does happen, but I'm, I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. My supporters show me so much love. All these little, small, negative, annoying interactions don't even matter compared to how much love uh, I feel when I meet an actual supporter in real life. It's a really, really good feeling. I'm not going to lie to you. Going from someone that used to keep their head down in high school and just walk straight, and then now people notice me, like for the stuff that I post online, like watching these videos. When someone comes up to me and says, yo, Lucid, I fuck with your videos. Like, I, I genuinely feel, and I'm not even joking, I genuinely feel more happy than you feel. Me seeing you, I feel more happy than you seeing me. That's that, That's how I feel. I feel genuinely excited. Like, wow, do you really support me like that? Do you really watch my, my videos and now you're gonna come to me in real life and tell me? It's one thing just seeing a number grow on a screen, which I have no connection to. Like, I'd say this video gets 80,000 views, right? All I see is eight, zero, comma, zero, whatever. Like, it's, it's, it's nothing. It is the HTML text. I feel no connection to anybody watching this video, unless you leave like a positive comment or whatever. But when I see you in real life, even if it's one person, or if it's two, or even if it's five people, that feels way, way more dense in love than I feel when I get 100K views on a video, genuinely. I can get 10,000 comments saying good, good stuff, but if one person comes up to me in real life and dabs up and said, bro, I fucking love what you do, that weighs more than a million comments. That's just kind of how it works. I, I, I've seen so many pieces of text on a screen. I've seen so many HTML characters showing a, a number increase. If it's, I'm very numb to the fact that there's a number growing, right? But when I see a warm-blooded living human being that has their own problems in life, they have, they have their, their own life, they're their own person, right? And they come up to me, take time out of their own day to show that they love me, that means the world to me. Um, so that's the end of this video. I love you. And if you see me in real life, tell me that you love me and I will take off my socks and give you a hug. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out.